See ya. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. I'm out of here. I'm working at a client's office today. I'm gonna to drive across the other side of the city. Their offices are like Windsor, Perrin, Chapel Street area. Mate's just gone off to work. Little Squish didn't really want to go down for a nap this morning. She just had one place she wanted to be, right on the booby. This time of year is probably the quietest fee and I normally are for work. Most agencies and brands take a bit of a break over the Christmas holidays. They generally get back into it about this week now. Then often it can take a week or two before they sort of start really getting into it, which means it can be you know, end of January before we start getting busy, really. So we've kind of been on summer holidays since Christmas. And then a couple of days ago, a client called and said, hey, can you come in Thursday, maybe Friday? We've got a bit of work we need to get through. I was like, for sure, sounds good. So I'm heading in there now. But first day back after you've been on a break from working much is always rough. We'll see how we go. I didn't sleep particularly well last night. So then when the alarm went off this morning, it was, uh, it was rough. Just stopping off to grab a coffee on the way in because uh, lack of sleep made it well and truly necessary. How are you, dude? How you been? Got my coffee. I'm trying to juggle coffee and keys and getting back into the car. I didn't, I'd totally forgotten. Those so friends of ours, a couple, Jesse and Evan, you should totally, oh, can't find the car key. Look up Jesse on Instagram, J.E. Brinks. Insanely good photographer, suss out his stuff. Anyway, I'd totally forgotten, but Evan works at Slater Street, the cafe where I just stopped off at, and that was him that just served me. Now I'm heading into my client's office. I've got coffee, I'm good to go. Got this. Just tried to get the baby down for another nap. Probably won't work. While she's uh, maybe having a nap, I'm gonna work on an edit with some footage from our last America trip. Just like put a little short thing together just for, for fun. So it's pretty much me for the morning. Just got in, coffee. Probably recognize this laneway. It's been about two or three weeks doing a whole bunch of work for these guys just before Christmas. So I filmed myself walking up and down this laneway numerous times then. Time to head in and crack into a bit of work. She's been feeding a lot today. It's also doing the most horrendous poos. We gave her eggs yesterday and her farts and poo stinks so bad of eggs. No eggs for a while. Overtired grizzly babies are very difficult to get to sleep. How to do some more laundry and two loads. I have three more to go. Since Nate's out tonight, I'm gonna have kind of like a like a girly night of myself. Once the baby's gone to bed, of course. So I'm just prepping now for later. I'm making some like honey popcorn. It's like caramel popcorn, but made with honey. Because we don't eat sugar, but I do it honey, so it's kind of like a little uh, a little sweet treat. In the pan, I've got butter, honey, salt, and like a tablespoon of water. I was gonna melt that down and like cook it for a while and turn it into a caramel. While that's doing that, I'm gonna make the popcorn in the microwave. Set the camera up in front of the microwave so you could watch the popcorn popping and forgot that the light in our microwave is broken. Idiot. <laughs> Honey make sure it goes onto the pop popcorn. That goes in the oven, I think like 15 minutes total, but you like it to stir every four to five minutes and that stops it getting sticky so it should be kind of like crunchy, I hope. I've never made it before. Baby's awake. I've taken the popcorn out of the oven. Yum! It could probably do with a little bit longer, but since she's up, if I left it in there, I'd forget about it and just burn it. So if it's still a little sticky later on, doesn't matter, it's still gonna be delicious, huh? It's still gonna be delicious. Can confirm, crispy and delicious. Just taking the dog and the baby for a lunchtime stroll. It's beautiful out today. Been putting together a few edits all morning. Just got to go out and move the car. Don't know if you remember from last time I was here, but the parking at the back is two-hour parking. 
I keep forgetting to go and move it, so fingers crossed. I don't have a fine. Just about to give Luna some lunch. We're trying a new one today. Pumpkin, apple and sweet corn. Ready, Baba? Um... Uh, that's a big old thumbs up for the pumpkin, sweet corn and apple. Good job, Bubba. I think she likes it. I'm just about to sit down for some lunch. It's one of our freezer meals. This one's like supremely disappointing. It's roast chicken, cabbage, beans, like green beans and pearl barley. I added a little bit of mayo and some chili to liven it up. The worst thing is I have to eat this twice today. Like I took these meals out of the freezer for Nathan and I for dinner tonight, forgetting that he won't be here for dinner and they've got to be eaten or I've got to throw it out. So I have to eat it for lunch and I have to eat it for dinner. I mean, it's not bad, but it could definitely be more exciting. She's been so tired for ages. Finally got her to sleep. <laughs> Just getting off the park. Squish had a great time. She was like screaming and yelling at all the dogs. Just finished up for the day and got back to the car and it is hot. I started the car and turned the aircon on full and stand outside out here until it cools down a bit in there. I should probably have mentioned this earlier and Fee may have mentioned it. Now that I've finished work, I'm not actually going home. I'm going out with a mate because he won free tickets to go and see Jerul and Ashanti and Eve and Chingy, I don't know, a whole bunch of others play tonight. Essentially all of the early 2000s R&B and R&B hip hop artists are gonna be at this gig tonight. So it should be pretty funny. Going to meet up with John now. We're gonna get some dumplings for dinner. And then after our dumplings, we're gonna go see Ashanti and Jerul and Chingy. I'm not even remotely embarrassed. I'm just psyched. This is gonna be awesome. Since I'm eating the same thing I was eating for lunch, I'm trying to make it a little bit more appealing. So we're frying it up in a fry pan. And I'm gonna add some like soy sauce and ketchup manis and hopefully make it a little bit more like stir fry-y. I think I actually redeemed it as a dish. At lunchtime it was fairly disappointing. But for dinner, it's a tasty stir fry. John just texted me, apparently the gig's moved tonight. It was meant to be at Melbourne Town Hall and apparently now it's gonna be at Alumbra, which I'm pretty sure I was 19, maybe 20 the last time I was at Alumbra. The dirty club in Docklands. But, I don't know where it got to where I was recording just then. Not only has the venue changed now, but John just called, he's around the corner, we're meeting for dumplings, and the dumpling joint we're going to is closed. So now we gotta go find somewhere for different dumplings. Oi, what's up? It's John. We found noodles, we're in Chinatown. Oi, there's a, there's a stretch limo that looks like Bum Bumblebee, is that it? Yeah. Bum Bumblebee from Transformers. And there's a guy standing out in front of it, dressed like him. I'm not really sure what the deal is. I think they're actually just standing here to promo themselves. The most ridiculous thing that I've seen all day. We just ate dumplings, heading back to the car now, and then we're off to Alumbra, Hello? like we're 20 again. I am super unimpressed with the dog right now. He played at the park for like an hour. I watched him weed like eight times. He has been to the door four times since I put the baby down to bed. Now I have to get the baby up. I have to wake the baby up. I have to wake the baby up out of bed because the dog didn't go crap before. I'm sorry little squishy. I'm sorry little squish. It's a real downside to living in an apartment. Like it would be way easier just to open the back door and let him run outside into the garden. But no, I have to walk him all the way downstairs. So when Nate's out and it's just me at home by myself, I always make a point of watching a movie that I wouldn't normally be able to watch because he has really bad taste in movies or he doesn't like repeating the same movie twice. Whereas I like some old classics and I'll just be happy to watch most things. So tonight, the poison of choice is Sleepless in Seattle. Classic. And I've got my tea and and my popcorn that I made earlier. Yum! Not the worst view ever. We're literally on our way to a club and it's still daylight. This feels weird. But there's Jerul and Ashanti. And Eve. And Eve. And, and Chingy. <laughs> I just recorded in, like a full wrap up of the evening 
and I wasn't recording. I just had to turn the camera around and tell it to stop, and it, <laughs> it didn't even start. It's Look, good. Eve was awesome, Chingy was terrible, Jerul and Ashati were somewhere in the middle. We're too old to be out after midnight on a Thursday when we've got work tomorrow. We're going home now. Probably would do it again if the tickets were free again. Totally. <laughs> Shout out to John who tagged three mates in on a Facebook competition to win these tickets and then took me who wasn't even one of the mates he tagged. <laughs>